Hello friends and potential friends. Well, today is, what is it, September 4th. Hurricane Dor Dorian is just passing us. We're catching a little bit of sprinkles from the trailing edge of the storm. Understand the eye is up around Jacksonville, which is about 90 miles north of me. And it's heading for the Carolinas. So my thoughts go out to all my friends up there in that area. But we fared pretty good here in Daytona. We were on the northern edge of the closest approach to Florida. And we didn't get a whole lot. I don't think we may have just barely gotten some gusts in the tropical storm range. But anyway, it's past now. So I'm out in the lab doing what I've been waiting to do for a month now before I show you my new additions still got one dadle pepper growing back there in the corner my mulberry is going crazy I'm gonna have to move it outside pretty soon my little runt loquat is still hanging in there I've got several more that I've already moved outside this one was the runt of the, all of those that I planted so I decided to keep it in here. Got four cuttings off of my six, getting close to seven year old basil. Lemon trees. Have this one little runt. It's still growing, so I'm still watering it. And then there's this one guy here that has never done anything more than what you see right there. I seriously doubt it's going to do much more. But it's still green, so I keep watering it too. And then I have four more that are doing pretty good. They're continuing to grow. One of them already stabbed me with one of its thorns. So they're defending themselves. But last video I did in here I was complaining about all the empty space I rectified that today actually earlier back in the back here I've got six Amish paste uh, tomato sprouts and here I have ten delicious beefsteak sprouts these beefsteaks were from uh, Ray Browning's seed giveaway last year. He runs the Praxis 55712 channel. If I remember, I'll try to put a link to his channel in the or in the description below. And I put a couple of uh, collards in here, and six more collards back here. These collard seeds come from my friend at uh, Homesteading the Hard Way up in North Carolina, who is incidentally right in the middle of the target zone for Dorian so my thoughts are definitely going out to he and his wife and I'll put his link in the description too and we have some mustard seeds there's four cups of mustards that I harvested I think those were from 2016 we have lemon basil and mammoth basil and lime basil and there was one more where did I oh there we are cinnamon basil all of those basils came from my friend Eric who runs the eccentric nature YouTube channel so I'll put his link in the description below too and the rest of these are just in my gardener seeds that I bought. I've got five cups of orange Swiss chard, five cups of ruby red Swiss chard, four cups of slow bolt cilantro. Yes, I'm going to try cilantro again. I've never grown it successfully here, but I'm just going to keep trying. And then back in the back we have five cups with uh, blue scotch kale and five cups of 
red Russian kale. So I managed to fill up the space that I've been so concerned about being empty. Notice I did keep a little bit of space over here in the corner because I'm going to have to transplant those tomato seeds or sprouts pretty soon. Probably in a couple weeks I'll have to put them in bigger cups. So I had to leave just a little bit of room for expansion. But anyway, that's all the seeds that I've put in today. And tomatoes actually went in, when did they go in? Uh, last month, the 26th. So, this is my winter garden, or at least the ones that I'm planting inside here. And once I get these out into the garden itself, I'll probably fill in all the space with various kinds of mints and whatever, some lettuce and more leafy greens, that sort of thing, so that I can fill up all my beds. And then we'll just hopefully have vegetables growing possibly as long as till next spring. I may have to protect them from frost once or twice over the winter. We generally don't have too much in the line of frost. I think my first frost date is around February 8th and my last fro frost date is about February 16th. Sometimes we don't get a frost at all. So I'll cover them if I need to. Otherwise, I'm hoping for a decent crop over the winter, and hopefully I'll be able to show some of my northern friends some ripening tomatoes in the middle of the winter when they're knee-deep in the snow. But that's what I've been doing today. I feel a lot better now that I've got this space filled up, and I'm just going to ignore that empty spot over in the middle because I'll fill that up pretty soon too. That's it for now. Hope everybody's safe in the storm. And I'll talk to you next time.